Just a quick video guys on how our solar setups yield power over the day. So here you can see six in the morning. This is solar charger battery voltage and current, okay? So the orange, orange is the current there, then you get your battery voltage. But just take note of the time, that's 6 a.m. All right, so when you string up solar the way we do and we split our systems on the roof to get more yield over the flat solar panels, so the flat mounted on the roof, and because we've got multiple arrays on the roof, not just one system in parallel, this is the result. Now this is on the graph here so you can see it and you know this is on the Victron VRM portal. So I'm getting you know four and a bit amps at just before six in the morning and then you can see that's 7 a.m. Right, I'm getting 16 and a half amps. Right, this is all a 12 volt system here. And you can see it's just, it increases. I mean, that's that's just going straight up. 8 a.m. I'm pumping in 30. 45 by 10 a.m. Then it's hovering around the 50, 50 amp mark around about lunch. 52, 53, 54. So in watts down there, it's 12 noon there, look at that. Oh, look at that arc, that is a beautiful arc. Now take note of the time. That's very late in the afternoon, but I'm still putting in that amount of power. That's just absolutely brilliant. So pretty much from dusk, you know, 6 a.m. right there, dusk till dawn, you're gonna get a charge, and that's because of the high voltage strings that we do. And that's why we get getting the power that we are from our systems. Um, this is in the end of February, this is taken from. I just picked a day where it was pretty consistent and this is what the result is. So obviously it was a sunny day here. There would have been no clouds in the sky here. Um, There's just no dips in there. There might've been a bit of cloud here perhaps, somewhere here. Um, the batteries did need a charge. You can see it sort of never, it only got the 13, what have we got, 13, four, 13, five. So they were still requiring a charge. The um, Solar charge controller was in bulk the whole time here. Um, but what I'm showing you here is how it's working perfectly from six in the morning to six in the afternoon. And that's excellent. This is my old system on the roof of my caravan. Um, this was a, I think it's an 850 watt system on the roof. Uh, used to be, it's now a 1200 watt system, but you know, I've only had it up for a few weeks. Um, take note of that one in the next up and coming video. I'll tag this to it. We can compare the differences um, from the same time of the year. But there we go, guys. It's um, it's interesting to see it when you can data log it like this. And you've heard me speak about it before with the high voltage strings and what that allows to happen. Well, here's, here's what happens. I will go into the voltage now. So here's the solar PV voltage and current. So this is a 3S string, which is why the voltage is around that sort of 60 mark. And you can see it even, I mean, that's 4 a.m. But look at this, see as the light lifts up here, look at that voltage. Now these numbers, you, you will never get those numbers from a parallel 12 volt string. That's 6 a.m. right there and I'm already at 40, 45 volts. And then that current just zips up with it. And there we go, and it's, it's, that's the MPP2 tracker, keeping it pretty consistent throughout the day, and that's sort of 40, 45 volt range, until, you know, there's about six o'clock when it dips off, and it's even tried to come back on, you can see the voltage is still quite high. So I'm still charging almost, you know, all the way till about eight o'clock at night. Either way, there's that curve from really early in the morning till late in the afternoon using the high voltage strings. There we go.